Markdown, a lightweight markup language for creating formatted text using a plain text editor. The file extension is MD, which stands for Markdown Documentation. Markdown is widely used in blogging, instant messaging, online forums, collaborative software, documentation pages, and readme files. It was created by John Gruber and Aaron Swartz in 2004 as a markup language to be appealing to human readers in its source code form. Today, it is the default readme standard for code and documentation. As a software developer, you must have seen it before on GitHub. When you create a repository or a project, GitHub gives you the option of a default readme. To get started, open a folder in Visual Studio Code and create a new file in the file explorer called readme.md. First, create a header by beginning it with a hash symbol. Make sure to leave a space. To create subtitles, add more hash characters. To cite normal text, simply type it normally. There is no special syntax required. To create a new line without leaving an extra line between your two lines in a raw code, make sure to leave two spaces after the end of one line. To bold text, use two asterisks, italicize it with one asterisk, and bold and italicize it with three asterisks. To make block quotes, Begin the line with a greater than sign and leave a space. Type in the block code after that. To make a one line code snippet, begin the text with one backtick and close it once done. To make multi line code snippets, begin the line with three backticks and then type in the language after that. Press return and paste in your code snippet. Then leave another line and type in three backticks. Specifying the language will allow syntax highlighting when rendered. To make ordered lists, simply begin the line with one dot and leave a space. Press enter and type in two dot. In Visual Studio Code, it automatically prefixes the numbering. To make unordered lists, simply begin the line with a dash and then leave a space. Visual Studio Code also automatically prefixes the dash. To create substrips and superscripts, wrap your text in the sub and soup text. One important feature of Markdown is the ability to insert hyperlinks, so the syntax is to place your text in square brackets, followed by round brackets containing the link. There is no need to wrap the link in apostrophes or leave a space between the square and round brackets. Inserting an image is similar to making a link, except that the square brackets is prefixed with an exclamation mark. For greater control over the width and position, you can use a IMG HTML tag. Lastly, to break apart sections, you can use a triple dash. Make sure that there is a blank line above your triple dash. There is still so much more that you can do with Markdown. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Okay, bye.